So I'm going to teach you how to how to make the Fibonacci the Fibonacci sequence in Python. So as you can see here, let's pick a color here. As you can see, this is the Fibonacci sequence, and this is the position of each Fibonacci sequence. So you can see that the first Fibonacci number here is related to zero. This first one is related to one. The second one is related to one. So it goes on, on and on and on like that. So now we have this formula. This is the formula for calculating the nth Fibonacci any nth, nth Fibonacci number. So now where does this formula come about? So I'm going to if if and find the eighth Fibonacci number, right? Hmm? I must know the Fibonacci number at position seven and position six. So the Fibonacci number at position seven is Fibonacci n minus one, whereby n is eight. Fibonacci number position n, then I must know for Fibonacci position n minus two, whereby it will be eight minus two, which is six. So, but I don't know the Fibonacci. Of, I don't know this n of these ones of position six or position seven. So, then I have to go now. I have to find the Fibonacci number of position six. To find the Fibonacci number of position six, you must know the Fibonacci number of position five and the Fibonacci number of position four. But you don't know. To find the, position, the Fibonacci number of position 4, you must know the Fibonacci number of position 3 and the Fibonacci number of position 2. But you know for a fact that the Fibonacci number of position 2 will always be 1, and the Fibonacci number of position 1 will always also be 1. So when you reach to find the Fibonacci number of position, position 2 in your program, you will just make it equal to 1. So you just make it equal to 1. So anything, so your function will be like if. The function will be if if you find the Fibonacci number of n and it is less than or equal to two, just say the Fibonacci number equal to two. Equal to two. So now let's program that program to find the Fibonacci number of any sequence. So we are going to first start. We shall first start by defining our function. So we shall say just call it find fib. So we shall call it find fib, and then it will take in a, a position argument n. Then we shall say for, for a number, let's say k, for the number k in a range of that which they have given us from 1 up to n plus 1, what should we do? Let's first pass here. What should we do? Okay, let's, let's go. Let's first come here. What should we do? Let's say that we had a list out there, a list which we are going to call, uh, which we are going to call fibs. Let's call it that list. It's called fibs. So when the list called fibs, we shall first when when the function is first called, we shall first append zero to the list. Then after appending zero, we shall go now four. We shall say if k k now k is representing. Uh, let's let me go back to the notebook. K is representing these numbers here. These numbers which you can see here. So when I come here and I say if k is less than or equal to two what should we do we should put fibs dot append append one meaning that anytime k which was it will start from one because they will say in a range from one so anytime k from one we will find first the first the first for loop will go through to give us one as k so one is less than two so it will append one to the list like that like that now when it reaches something greater what shall we say we shall say now, uh, we shall have to find fib of position argument k minus 1 plus fib of position argument k minus 2. Then we shall call it the, the new, we shall let's call it the new fib. The new fib, then we shall append that new fib to, we shall append that new fib to the list. Fibs. A new fib to the I mean, new fib. So what is happening here? What's happening is like this: we 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 from from one up to two, we already have this Fibonacci number. So at first we appended zero, then then it went to one, then one. It saw that one was less than less than two. Then it put one. Then it saw that two was equal to two. So then it put one. So now we have these Fibonacci numbers. 
So now on the third loop, when it goes to the third loop, it is that oh, k is now three, but k is actually greater than greater than two. So it will come, it will come, it will come here. So sorry, let's put an else an else function to make to make this safe so that it does not say list out of index. So it then it will come a else. It will check. It will check that now I need I need the Fibonacci number at position k minus one. So at k minus one which is now 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. So at position 1, we have 1. Now, it's 1 square minus 2, so we have 3 minus 2. That is, yeah, 3 minus 2, that is 1. At position 1 is 1. Then here, yeah, sorry, here is supposed to be 3 minus 2, which will be, uh, 3 minus 1, which will be 2. So at position 2, we have 1. So it will add them up. Then it will append it. After adding them up, then it will append it to the list. So now, after after you doing all this in the for loop, it will it will go until that Fibonacci number. So when it goes until that Fibonacci number, we shall have to print out. We shall print out the fibs. Fibs. Then we shall print out uh, at the the number n that we want. So it will that the last the last number in the list will be the actual Fibonacci number. So let's let's now test out the program. So we shall say find fibs and say we want to find the a fibonacci number so for a fact we know that a fibonacci number is 21 so the a fibonacci number is 21 a fibonacci number here is 21 as you can see so if we build it up and we're getting an error so let's see what the error is all about uh, fib not defined yeah sorry it's supposed to be fibs so remember we named it fibs so let's build again. We're getting one. Why are we getting one? Less than or equal to two. We will print the nth Fibonacci number. Why are we getting one? Let's try. Let's try the fifth Fibonacci number is five. We are still getting one. Mm. Let's see. Okay, and append one. Fib is equal to k minus one. Fib is k minus two. So here we shall get append new to fib. New fib. Fib that append new fib. Yeah. So let's see what's actually going wrong here. So what's actually going on here? Hmm. What's actually going on here? What's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? Five, five, five minus two. Mm. Eh, yes. 
we had failed to remove this that's, that's why we had failed to and failed to remove this so if we build this time it should actually work so 5 8 a Fibonacci number for a fact you know that a Fibonacci number so it's supposed to be n so for a fact that you know that a Fibonacci number is 21 Sorry, this is supposed to be n, and the mistake was that here I had, uh, I had forgotten to delete the 0, 1, 1 that I had put there for demonstration. So that's for a fact. So this is how you write a Fibonacci, a Fibonacci sequence. This is how you write it. That's the simplest, this is the simplest way to write it. There is also other ways like recursion, but this is. Yeah. Thank you for.